Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to optimize Windows 11 for gaming. So if you have the Windows 11 machine and you want to enjoy the gaming on your PC, no problem. I'm going to share a few uh, solutions, few settings that you have to apply and after that you will see a great change and you will see the Windows 11 has been optimized for the gaming performance. Number one, what you have to make sure that your game mode has been enabled on Windows 11 machine. It's very easy, just make a right click on the Windows icon and from the list choose settings. From the left hand menu click on gaming and then click on game mode. Now here you can see the game mode has been disabled so in your case if it's disabled then you need to click on the toggle and then make sure it's been enabled. Once done just close it. Now in the next step, we have to apply the NACLIS algorithm. So what we have to do here, we just need to make some changes in the registry and for that, we need our IP address. So how you can know your IP address? Just click on the search icon and type CMD. A black window will be coming up. Just type here IP CONFIG, IP config and hit on enter. Now it will show you all kind of uh, IP address. Now you have to look for the one through which you are connected to the internet. Like I am connected through the wireless, through the Wi-Fi. So I will look under wireless LAN adapter. Now here you can see I find IP4 address, which is 192.168.1.5. You don't need to make a note of it. You just need to remember that what exactly your IP address is because in the next step we need it. Once you have done, just minimize it. Now make a right click on the Windows icon again, then click on Run. In the Run box, type REGEDIT, that is Regedit. Just click on OK and then click on Yes. So the registry editor box will now be up, and now here we have to click on HKEY Local Machine and then click on System. Then on current control set, just double click on it and then click on on services. Now here we have to look for the TCP IP. So just click anywhere and then press the T key so that we can come to the T section. Now here you can find TCP IP. Okay, just make a double click on it. And then click on parameters and then on interfaces. Now here in the interfaces, you see different entries. It can be less or it can be more in your case. So now we have to look for an entry that contains the IP address that we looked in the previous step. Okay, this one. So we have to look for the entry that contains this IP address. So we can start from the beginning. It doesn't contain, we move to the next one. Next. Okay, DSCP IP address. No, this is not uh, the one. Okay, then the next one. Okay, so in my case, I have this entry that contains the IP address here 192.168.1.5 that I check in the previous step. So once you come here, just need to make a right click on this entry here, go up to new, and then click on do 32 bit value. Now you just need to rename it and the name that you need to enter here will be TCPACQ and then frequency. You just need to type uh, exactly how I am doing and then hit on enter. Now just make a double click on it and now here we have to change the value. So by default it's zero, you need to make it one and then click on OK. Now we have to make one more entry, so just make a right click on it again, over up to new and then click on do 32 bit value and this we have to name TCP no delay. So this will be TCP no delay. Okay, I made a mistake. Once done, hit enter. Now again make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1. Then click on OK. And you are all set from here. Just close it. And now we have to make a change in a DNS settings. So for that, just make a right click on the Windows icon and then click on settings. 
Now from the left in menu, just click on network and internet. Then here click on properties. Now here scroll down a bit and here you will find DNS server assignment. Just click on edit. That is on the very right side of it, DNS server assignment. Click edit and it says automatic DSCP. So you just need to click on the drop down and choose manual and enable IP version 4. Now here in the preferred DNS, you will have to type 1.1.1.1 and in the alternate DNS, it will be 1.0.1. One sorry, 1.0.0.1. Once done, click on save. And that's it. You just need to just close it. And in the next setting, we have to disable few notifications. So it's very easy. Just make a right click again on the Windows icon, then click on settings. And here you will find focus assist. Just click on it. And in the focus assist, right now it's set to off. In your case, it can be to priority only. So what you can do, you can just choose to alarms only, or you can also go with disable. Okay. Once done, just scroll down again. And here you have to look for the, this one when I am playing a game. Okay. So you have to make sure that this option has been enabled. Okay. This one, when I'm playing a game, it can be off in your case. So you just need to make sure that it's been enabled. Once done, we are done with this part as well. Just close it. And in the next, we have to enhance the visual settings. So for that, just make a right click on the settings. And then you have to look in the search box. Just type performance. Then hit enter. Now here you will find adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Just click on it. This performance option will now be coming up and here you have to choose adjust for best performance. In your case, it can be set to custom adjust for best appearance. So what you have to do, you just need to go with adjust for best performance. Once done, click on the advanced tab here and make sure adjust for best performance of programs has been selected. If, it, if it's being selected to back down the services, then you have to check with programs. Once done, you can just click on apply and then click on OK. And now we are almost done with all the part and only remain with the last setting. That is, we have to make changes with the power plan. So just close everything and in the search box type power plan. And then you have to choose choose a power plan. Just click on it. Now in your case, uh, it can be different. It can be set to balanced. It can be set to ultimate or it can be to the best one or to the lowest one So whichever you see the top one. Like if you see the best performance, high performance or the ultimate performance. So the ultimate is the best one. OK, that will give you the best performance. In case you do not see the ultimate, then I will leave a link in the description. You can watch that video and you can bring this ultimate performance on your Windows 11. All right. So you have to choose ultimate performance in case you do not want this, you can go with the high or you can also go with the best one. So once selected, just close it and now simply restart your PC and you will find a great change. You will see that the Windows 11 has been now optimized for the gaming performance. Hopefully guys, this will work for you and if yes, make sure that please like the video before leaving the video and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get more related videos in the future. You can get connected to us. Thank you so much and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.